what we're going to do now, we're going to look at Chapter 19, and we're only going to look at a couple sections in Chapter 19, Optical Instruments. All right, looking back, image formation by lenses. In Section 18.5, you learned how a single lens can form a real image of an object. In this chapter, we'll study how combinations of two lenses can form highly magnified images, such as those in microscopes and telescopes. A real image is one through which light rays actually pass. It's on the opposite side of the lens from the object. So what we're going to look at is dual lens and mirror lens systems. So we're going to look at microscopes and telescopes. All right, the microscope. A combination of lenses can be used to get higher magnifications than are possible with a simple magnifier. The image of the first lens acts as the object for the second lens. So when we go to tackle these problems, what you're basically going to do is you're going to basically use your mirror equation and light passes through that first lens. And wherever that image is located, now that's going to be where your object is for the second lens when you go to do your calculation. The magnification of a microscope is the product of the objective magnification and the eyepiece magnification. All right, so a microscope. A microscope attains a magnification of up to 1,000 using two lenses in combination. The objective lens is a converging lens with a relatively short focal length. Okay, so a microscope has an objective lens. You can see right here. The eyepiece is an ordinary magnifier that further enlarges the image created by the objective lens. And then you have the eyepiece. The telescope. A telescope is used to magnify distant objects. So a telescope has two lenses like a microscope, but the objective lens has a very long focal length, very long focal length rather than a short one. The converging objective takes the rays from infinity and forms a real image of the distant object at the lens focal point. The eyepiece is a simple magnifier. A refracting telescope uses a lens as its objective. A reflecting telescope uses a concave mirror instead of a lens. A secondary mirror deflects the image to an eyepiece on the side of the telescope. So here you have these light rays coming in from infinity. Here you have your concave mirror, okay? And then it bounces off your concave mirror, hits a plain flat mirror, okay, and goes out the side of the telescope into an eyepiece. Mirrors are useful because big mirrors can be supported along the back surface, whereas lenses cannot. So along the back surface, we can support a mirror, but it would hard, be hard to support a lens here. All right, so why don't you take a look at the notes problems that I have up and see if you can start tackling these problems. Remember, whatever you get, um, the image of that first lens or mirror is going to be the object of the second in the series.